is we showed a demo of a product that you can go to the store and readily purchase off the shelf. And um, it was called the 3DR Solo. And what we did is we had in the, an operator fly the device from a remote control. And I had a laptop that I was able to connect to that device and send it commands to overtake it from the person flying. Such a weakness in a, in a drone like the 3DR Solo is that that thing can be used for a multitude of things including um, you can reboot it while it's mid-flight and turning it into a lawn dart. So it can just fall out of the air, which it could fall on a crowd of people or a building or a cell phone tower or something of that nature and can cause physical damage or physical harm to somebody. So the likelihood of somebody being able to access one of these devices in such a manner it, w it would probably be about 90% of the devices out there. Most people will just purchase a product, get a warning about changing a password and never do so. They will just use it just for ease of use. They'll just take it out of the box, start it up and start playing with it. So AIS's place in all this is to identify the vulnerabilities in the systems themselves and also exploit those vulnerabilities to then show the manufacturers or whether it be someone like FAA or anything of that nature why security is extremely important in these devices.